Hi, I'm Becca Harkins, and this is my acrylic pouring art channel. Today, I wanted to go over my hair dryer collection. I get a lot of questions and comments about what type of hair dryer I use, what I prefer, why I like it. Today, I thought I would take a deeper dive into the hair dryers, why I like them, what I like and don't like about the three that I have, and why I have chosen my favorite one as my favorite. And then I will do a quick demonstration on three different canvases so that you can actually see the force of air from each of the types of blow dryers and what the end result looks like. Because you might find that for your aesthetic that you prefer a different hair dryer, and that's totally fine. Um, but I can give you some, a few little tips on what I like, what I don't like, and why. If you are like me, you probably are starting out with whatever hair dryer you use to dry your hair. It's a 2000 watt dryer, and I use the concentrator on here to keep the air in a certain space so that it moves the paints better. Um, I have very thick and yes, shiny gray silver strands in my hair, which I love by the way. <laughs> and it takes a very high powered dryer to fully dry my hair. So this is what I had. I was starting out, I had no idea if this was gonna be um, something that I like to do. So I started out with what I had uh, on hand. And you can see that it has like longer streaks and a, a little bit more of an aggressive pattern to the way that the paint flows. And it's fine, like they're fine. Their paintings are beautiful, um, but I, I wanted something a little bit softer. I wanted a softer feel to my paintings. So I went online and I tried to figure out what's the best hair dryer for acrylic pouring, which you may have Googled too. Um, and what I found is a lot of people use that yellow and blue one. So I was like, great, I found my hair dryer. It was out of stock. So I started searching around for other hair dryers that had similar settings. I ended up purchasing this one. This is my beloved hair dryer that I really, really love. I use this for all of my Dutch pours. As you can tell, it is, <laughs> it is well loved. Um, it only has a high and a low setting. The first one I bought did not have a cool shot. Um, this one does. I actually already had to replace this one because my dog, who I love dearly, um, decided that the air condenser was gonna be her snack and I couldn't figure out how to get a replacement. So it's not, the hair dryers are not that expensive, so I just bought another one. And this one does come with a cool shot. I've heard some people say you need to use the cool air. I don't find that it matters. I've never had any issue with using warm air. This is not super hot, but it's warm when it comes out. And I always use the low setting, which is, you can't see it because it's covered in paint, but I just know it's the, <laughs> it's the, switch it down for low. If I use the high setting, it will blow the paint across the room. I always use it with an air condenser on it, although I do have a goal of learning to do some different styles without the air condenser on it. So at some point I will be doing that, hopefully. Um, but I do love this hair dryer and this is linked in the description below. If you purchase it, I will get a small commission. It costs you nothing extra, um, but it would help me, you know, pay for my supplies and make a little bit of a living as an artist. <laughs> as I am growing in canvas size. I am learning to do Dutch pours on larger and larger canvases. And I have a few very large canvases waiting for me that I'm nervous, <laughs> I'm nervous to pour on because um, you can't really scale a Dutch pour unless you scale your condenser, I think. Um, so I purchased this hair dryer. This is 1,800. 75 watts. It has a high and a low setting and it has the um, cool shot button on it. And it has, as you can see, it has a much wider condenser. Putting them side by side, this is my beloved hair dryer that I use for everything. And this is the one that I purchased recently. And as you can see, the width on here is much wider. So I'm hoping to be able to get a wider uh, pedal or flow from this hair dryer. Full disclosure, <laughs> I don't love this one. Here's why. I haven't quite mastered the right airflow yet. And that's, that's probably on me. I find the low setting doesn't move the paint probably because the air is coming out slower and because it has a wider width, it's just doesn't have the same force. 
um, but I find the high setting is too aggressive in the middle and then not pushing the paint enough on the edges. It may just be the distance, like I might need to hold it, say this was the canvas, I might need to hold it at a different angle or a different distance and so I will be playing around with that still because I still want to figure this out. But here's the thing I don't like that I'm not sure if I can overcome, we'll see. This hair dryer is cool because it closes up like this but when it opens this is angled down and as I try to get the right angle I find that this hits the canvas, it's not the right distance there. So. I could turn it this way and learn to blow that way. I'm sure that would be fine. Also, this turns. So I could turn it sideways and learn to blow sideways. So I think um, I need to just do a little more practicing with this one and I can figure it out. To recap, I have my big one that I started with that is the hair dryer that I use to dry my hair. Um, I have my beloved baby. And then I have the one that I'm learning to love. I hope you found this helpful. Now let's get onto the canvases so you can really see what they're gonna look like. For this um, blow dryer test, I am going to use a white base, which I have just mixed up here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my base out um, on each one. And I'm gonna use the hair dryer that I'm gonna use for the pour colors to move the base paint around too. Um, just because I want you to see the difference in how the paint moves and I thought that might be helpful. I'm going to start over here with this one. I'm going to use the hair dryer that I started with when I started um, pour painting and starting to how to learn the Dutch pour. Um, as I stated before, this one is 2000 watts and it has a hot, cool, warm setting. I'm just going to leave it on cool and I'm going to use the low setting here. Um, to move the paints around. So we'll start over here on this one. So I, hopefully you could tell from that, it has a very aggressive way that it moves the paints. It moves them very quickly. It was very efficient for moving the base paints, but I find that it has a tendency to overmix the pour paints for my taste. The center one here, I'm going to use my favorite hair dryer that I always use for my Dutch pours. This one is a thousand watts. It only has a high and a low setting. It does have a cool shot, but I don't use it. And it has, um, actually the width of the, it's almost the same. This one's a little bit wider than this, but it's not that different. But this one definitely is not going to move the paints as aggressively or as widely. So you can see that here. So as you can see there, it took a much longer time to get the paints moved around, but I did have a bit more control about where they were going. The third canvas, I'm going to use this Revlon hairdryer, which has a low and a high setting. It has a cool shot, again, which I don't use. It has a much wider uh, mouth here where the air is going to come out. It can turn this way so you can really direct it to be whatever angle you want um, but I do have trouble using it because this the angle of this makes it so I can't really get in there and get as close as I want on the low setting so for the base I'm gonna actually move it on high and I'm gonna turn it upside down like this so that this handle doesn't get in my way
All right. Is blo I don't know if you could see that. It was like blowing my drop cloth everywhere. I'm actually going to try low and see if I can get this a little under control. So as you can see, um, I was having trouble getting the paints to move and I had to get really close, which I ended up dipping it directly into the paint. And now that's a mess because it's, <laughs> it's got white paint in the condenser. Um, what am I going to do here? Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more white because I'm, I'm having trouble getting it to reach the edges. And I'm going to go back and try to hit this from the high setting, but um, from a further distance and see if I can get the control that I want. All right. If I had my wish here, I would wish that this I would wish that this had a medium setting because high moves the paints really well, but it's like it blew a tack onto the floor that I'm afraid I'm going to step on now. And it was like blowing things everywhere. And it made me, <laughs> it made me feel anxious. It was like too much. Uh, so, okay. So that was it for the base paints. And now I'm just going to hit it with my blowtorch and then I am going to, it really doesn't have bubbles which is surprising to me because I just mixed it up. Um, I, and then I'm going to pour my, my um, pour layers onto these canvases. I'll do all three and then I'll come back and hit it with each of the different blow dryers. I have poured all four of these canvases with the same composition, the same layers, about the same amount of paint, and in the same order. I'm gonna take my high powered, I'm going to use it on low, cool, and I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna blow this way, and then I'm gonna blow this way, and then I'm gonna blow this way for all three of the canvases. So I had a lot of power on there. As you can see, it really did move the paints. I've got some interesting lacing, or not lacing, interesting cells developing up here, but I didn't feel like I had a whole lot of control over the composition. Um, this pulled further down than I thought it was going to, and it picked up a lot of the white and kind of turned it up on top of the colors, and they're not they're not really coming back through the way I would like for them to. Although there's some really interesting lacing forming up here. So, so that's cool. So we'll give this some time, let it develop and um, we'll move on to the next one. So for this one, I'm gonna use my blow dryer that I'm the most comfortable with. It's a thousand watts. It has a low and a high and a cool shot and that's it. The condenser is a little bit smaller, which is why I'm looking for an option that has a larger condense, a larger, a wider condenser. 
but you can see, you'll see now the difference that I have as far as control goes with my Dutch pores and this hair dryer. All right, so what I'm seeing with this one is it didn't pick up nearly as much of the white base paint, throwing it on top of the other colors as this one did. Um, I had much more control over the direction my paints went and I was able to turn it here. Um, it still has a lot of nice lacing areas going on, especially up here in the top. Um, and it just kind of kept, the, it kind of slid the paints over the base paint instead of picking the base paint up and like a wave over it and then having it come through. So it's, it's a different look. All right, for my third canvas, I'm gonna use this one, which I really want to like because it has that wider air condenser on it, which I'm gonna clean the white paint out of now. <laughs> um, but I would, I feel like the low is too low and the high is too high. So what should I do here? And you know what? I'm gonna give it a try on high and I'm gonna keep it at a distance from the canvas. Like I'm not gonna go so close and see if I can get results that I like. Okay, <laughs> I turned it on high and it like scared me. It's just too much and I think it's gonna throw my paints all over my camera. Um, I'm gonna hit it with low because that's closer to what this one does but it has a wider mouth. I'm gonna hit it with low and I'm gonna take my time and see if I can really get the paints to move. enough it's not enough it's not it doesn't move the paints out to the edges the way this one does it's like got no power on the sides and all the power in the middle but it's not enough so all right I am going to hit it on high I'm going to go from far away I'm going to turn it upside down I'm going to go from far away and I'm going to see if I can get this to work here so similar to this one even on the low setting this one on the high setting just kind of takes the paints and throws them this was the low setting and this was the high setting here and here and I mean it's like these cells in here are different than these which are different than this i mean this has some really nice lacing um it kind of you get that flow from like color into white um more than you get with this one uh, but i still really like the control and the composition that i get with this mini dryer so i'm gonna have to keep hunting for a larger wider condenser so I can upscale this look to my larger canvases.